see through my analytics that there's a lot of you who are watching my stuff but aren't subscribed. I'd really appreciate it if you'd consider hitting the subscribe button, sticking around just so you don't miss any other content. Enough with the interruption, let's get back to the video. We have a very special car review to do, not only because of the car and uh, what it is and what it has in it, but because this car belongs to Mark, the owner of Six Element. I feel extremely privileged to even be driving this car right now and a little bit nervous because I don't want to blow it up because that's been a big running joke between everybody. So let's not do that today. So what are we in? We're in a 2000, what, 2017? Yep. 2017. Hyundai Elantra Sport, so it is the turbo option for the turbo version, except this car has, well, get in here right there, this car has a big turbo in it, and uh, we're about to go to the streets and uh, see how she feels, give her an honest review, let's go. So I've been getting a lot of questions about this car, like what mods does it have done? I'm going to try to keep it brief because there are so many that it's going to be hard to keep track of. Um, six element catback downpipe. Um, we have, I'm pretty sure we have the six element motor mount. No, there definitely is a motor mount on here. Comp CTR tur uh, big turbo on here. The six element front mount intercooler kit. This thing's absolutely kitted out. Um, there's nothing on here that um, isn't isn't aftermarket. Oh, and a, and a meth kit. A little bit of background to this car. Um, this car was six elements not project car, more like test car. I don't think they saw this car going to the level that it is at right now. It's making 28 pounds of boost and currently holds the world record for stock block uh, Elantra Sports and at 407 wheel horsepower, <laughs> which is insane because that's like almost, what is that, almost 500 brake horsepower out of a, um, a stock motor. So that means the motor has not been opened up at all. I've had a lot of questions about this too. The motor has not been opened or touched in any way whatsoever. So that means the car engine wise is completely stock, stock internals. And we're currently sitting at 96,519 miles on the car. And I am praying that I'm not the one who blows this up. <laughs> This car is like the definition of extreme, and I'm sitting in like the worst possible place, which what we're gonna get out of this traffic in a second. We are sitting in bumper to bumper traffic right now with a crazy, what is this, a six buck clutch? <laughs> yeah, a six buck clutch and um, a 400 wheel horsepower launcher sport. So does this thing daily drive? Yes, because Mark daily drives this thing. This was his grocery getter for almost three years. That's insane. Definitely a crazy grocery getter. 29.3 average miles per gallon on this car. This car makes 407 horsepower. Rev match only, she said. All right, so we're gonna do a little third gear pull and see how she feels. We're gonna get up to 4K. car and instead of a boost gauge and PSI you got a boost gauge and bar sitting on the dash over there it's honestly really impressive Hyundai even engineered a car that can handle this much power over stock we're here at six proving grounds now so let's get a little bit more you know let's get on her a little bit oh boy by the way we do have a baby seat in the back because Mark does have a child Perfect dad car. This car also has an HKS blow-off valve on it. It's a really, really popular choice. So I've seen almost everybody who comes in to get a tune or to get work done has one of these blow-off valves. It's honestly, I don't know how to feel about them. They're they're pretty sick. I like the noise and I don't at the same time. But man, this car is 
This car is really, really flat through the turns. So great job, Hyundai. This doesn't have um, aftermarket coils or springs. It is just... stock suspension. And I like, I can't even focus when driving this car because I'm so on, not on edge, but I'm like, I'm trying to dial in my my eyeballs to the road and just kind of feel out the car and make sure, um, make sure I don't, you know, overcook her. The looks on this car, I'd say it's an extremely underrated car in terms of looks. I think if I was on a budget and I wanted to get in the car scene, this would be the perfect car. It looks great. It feels great. Obviously, it can handle a ton of power. And it's just like a huge bang for your buck. No pun intended for engine explosions. <laughs> Interior, I mean, it's a Hyundai. It's nothing special. Don't don't expect, you know, Audi level quality when you get into this thing. But like I said, this car is a bang for your buck kind of car. You know, you have your plastics all over the the dash, and and you know, it's nothing special, but it is it is nice enough. The seats are very nice, nicely bolstered. They kind of hug you in. They're a little bit loose on the on the lower lower end of them, but. Nothing major to complain about there. Car is absolutely worth the money. Biggest bang for your buck car, I'd say, in the books. You have a stop sign, sir. Please stop. Thank you. Well, it's not the most special car. It has a lot of potential. And for a lot of people who want to get into the car community, there's not a lot of options that aren't that expensive that give you a nice, fun feel and give you a really cool-looking car. So... I'd say this car ranks pretty highly. And I don't know of any car that I would ever give a 10. Hopefully we'll find it someday, but um, yeah, I like the car. So let's just sit back and, and chill and we're just gonna drive and see how things feel. nervous about driving a six putt clutch or driving on a six putt and it's not really insane i drove nate's veloster turbo back when he had one and that six putt was pretty violent but i think he had a lightweight flywheel also yes you did i see him nodding <laughs> um. On the, oh no, bro, what do you mean I can't go up here? Can I limbo it? We're gonna get shots up there. Mm. Oh. Enjoyed. Holy fire truck. I 
hope you guys enjoyed that review. Um, I had a lot of fun. I just want to say thank you to Mark for letting me experience such an amazing car. And honestly, it's kind of an end of an era because it's going to go back to stock very soon. So again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.